Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. We're getting out in our garden today and we're gonna take some cuttings of the birch tree you see behind us. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's, a, it's one of our most favorite trees. It's probably my favorite tree in the whole yard. So we'll show you that in just a minute. But before we get to that, you guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on every garden care video. So guys, you can see behind us, here's our paper bark birch. And it's a very old tree, it's big. Let's, oh. We're gonna look up in the canopy there. And so we're gonna take cuttings of this. We need to go through and prune this anyway away from those uh, those power lines that you see right there. But we're gonna take some hardwood cuttings uh, from this tree today and we're gonna propagate it. We're gonna show you what we do. So excited. We've never, we haven't taken cuttings of trees yet. Or Sean has. You've done this before mm -hmm. in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So he'll tell you more about that. But um, yeah, this is gonna be super fun. Yep. So we're looking for uh, some really healthy uh, hardwood um, tissue from this tree, um, especially from last year, if it's got some hard tissue from last year's growth. And we're gonna harvest that, and then we're gonna take it in the back to the uh, greenhouse and show you how we treat them and get them in the ground. So guys, I'm about ready to take some uh, tissue from this uh, beautiful paper bark birch here. Um, I'm gonna take our large pieces with these loppers, and then we'll take them in the back and we'll further process them. We'll show you how to do that and what we're gonna do to treat these cuttings before we stick them in. Uh, the rooting medium. So I'm gonna look for the uh, for the tissue we want and get it with these loppers, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So we reached all the way on that. So I'm just gonna grab that. Oh yeah, really good stuff there. Maybe one more. So we've got some choices for the tissue itself. Here we go. Okay, I think we're good. Guys, we're in our backyard. We're at our famous pallet table here. Um, we're gonna process these cuttings here on this table and then we'll take them in the greenhouse. We'll show you all about that. So uh, the literature talks about taking hardwood cuttings during the winter time. And so uh, they say the best success of rooting for uh, birch trees, uh, birch cuttings is on that harder wood. We have both. We've got last year's growth, this past year's growth right here. And then it stops right about here where you see that ring, if you can see that there. And then the year before goes all the way down to about here and then further on all the way down. So these are, this is like a year's growth, a year's growth, and then year's growth. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take last year's growth. We're gonna keep those. We're gonna see if we can, uh, we can root those because this is vigorous tissue. This is, this is new tissue. It's got more of that, uh, vigor in it um, as most plants do in their newer tissues of growth and then the older tissues will still take that last year's hardwood the the previous year's hardwood growth and we'll root that too but so we're going to have an experiment within an experiment almost it's going to be the tissue types uh, to experiment to see which one roots at all or which one roots the best and then also we have a couple different mediums we're going to root these uh, these cuttings in so there's going to be a couple levels of of experimentation here, so pretty cool. So with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand shears, my Corona Classic Cut favorite hand shears, and I'm gonna uh, take these cuttings and put them into their uh, their age um, their aged piles, and then we'll take them over and uh, we'll stick them in the medium. So you're probably wondering um, how big should these cuttings be? Uh, the literature says to be about six inches, maybe longer in length. And so each one of these is definitely healthy enough with about six inches, so we'll do that. And then I'm also gonna prep the cuttings uh, before we uh, dip them and stick them with the root hormone. So you'll see that as I go through this. So what I'm gonna do first is put the cuttings in piles of age of their tissue. So here's, here's the last year's growth. And then here's year before that's gross and we're going to be able to take some of these off too you can see right here too here's some of those tassels that you'll see in the spring you'll see the flowers uh, from birch these are the tassels this is its flower basically and so i'm going to cut that off here because um, we don't need that we don't want the plant to do the reproduction part of uh, of its growth when we're doing when we're trying to get these cuttings going so perfectly fine to do
So guys, we've cut our, uh, we've cut all the cuttings off and we piled them up based on their age of their tissue. Now I'm gonna prep these cuttings by making sure that we only have the one tissue age on these. And then the base of these cuttings, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna cut them at a specific angle at 45 degrees or as best I can to give them that large surface area. And I'm gonna take off any, uh, I'm gonna take off any of the buds, uh, remove those, uh, any part of the stem that's gonna go below the soil. Okay guys, we're ready to plant. So we've got our older tissue cuttings that we're gonna do first. And what we're gonna do is we only have eight of these, so we're gonna go three cuttings in sand, three cuttings in potting soil down over here, and then we're gonna go two cuttings in the water. So that'll be mostly evenly divided. And then, um, so we'll do that. And so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to plant these with the rooting hormone for the two mediums. And I think we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this into the uh, into the water, so at least they get a little bit of the rooting hormone too. Otherwise, we probably won't get roots. So here we go. So first we're gonna dip into the water, then we're gonna dip into the rooting hormone. So you see that, that's really good right on there, on that wet surface. And then we're gonna place it in the hole, and we're just gonna tighten it right there. And that's all there is to it. And you can see we pre-punch these holes, so um, when we put these into the medium, we don't lose the actual rooting hormone that we just put on there. It doesn't get scraped off. Okay, you guys, we have 20 birch cuttings that we're gonna check over probably the next six weeks, you think, Sean? Yeah. And see what happens. And at least the water ones we can monitor kind of more often, right? Because we'll be able to see them. But total experiment. So like Sean explained, this half of this um, potting um, tray is sand. So we wanted to check and see if like a really fast draining medium would mm -hmm. help the root. Mm -hmm. This is a potting soil that we normally use for everything else and then water. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see what happens, six to eight weeks, we'll let you know. So guys, that's the experiment. Leave your comments and questions down below for us. We love hearing from you. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. Yep, that's a wrap for today, you guys. We will be back tomorrow with our next video, so come on by to see what we're up to, and have a great day ahead. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, you guys. Bye-bye.